Here we go. We are back and happy Monday to everyone. Today is March 25th, 2024. And Stacy and I are coming off of the high of the Empower and Elevate Conference on March 22nd. Uh, and obviously she's all dressed up and looks beautiful. And I'm like still in a hoodie. I'm still recovering. <laughs> Stacy, it was such a good time, don't you think? Absolutely. Just yeah. the energy was just electric. It really was at the conference. Yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, you and another 139 women were in the room to not only empower, but elevate women, which is what you do in a lot of your business that you um, have with True You Consulting. So we're so happy to have you as part of a member of the Leap community. You bring such value. And now you're doing an Awaken Your True You retreat on April 4th through the 7th, which is my birthday, April 7th. And I'll be babysitting some great kids during that time, but that's next Wednesday. So it's here local, which is great. So anyone local can still hop in on it. Do you want to tell us a little bit about why you created this retreat and where someone would be at to need to attend a retreat like this? Well, I think, honestly, I think most people have, have never taken time out just to be by the, like, you know, to listen to themselves, right? How often do we take the time for ourselves to slow it down and to really go within to ask those questions like, am I really happy? What's working? What's not working? And to, to really go for what you want in your life. And sometimes you don't even know. You're just like, maybe I, I, I don't want to do what I'm doing now. Maybe you want to do something else. Well, maybe you want more. And a lot of the people that are coming to the, the retreat are looking for more. They have this calling that saying there's more for you to do. And so this allows people to come for uh, four nights, five days to really go within and answer those questions for themselves. And so what I do is I lead the retreat so they can um, go through this process that I created. It's called beauty that allows people just to look at their human experience look at what's going on in their lives and their businesses and really live their dream, step into their power and live their dream. I love that. I'm all about us stepping into our power. And I do believe that so many of us hold ourselves back. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no way I could have created such a large event, a powerful event if I was holding myself back. Yes. So you're doing the same thing by bringing this, this retreat forward called the Awaken Your True You. Are there men and women? Is it all women? Do you want to explain a little bit about your background and some of the teachings and things they'll get while they're at this retreat? Sure. Um, my background is 25 plus years in outside sales and management. Um, but I left that to start my own business because I felt I had lost myself. Like I knew that there was more for me but I, I just wasn't growing anymore. And I'm like, I want to do something, do it different. I want to make an impact. And I felt like it was very just a masculine environment. And I knew that that wasn't what I wanted anymore. And it was this push, 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 make it happen where can't we just, you know, allow it to happen and to, to be happy too. Because when you're stressed out all the time, what's the point? I mean, that so many people go, oh my gosh, I'm working so hard, this and that, and just your balls, you know, you're you're trying to juggle all the balls. This is you don't have to do it like that. You can be successful and be happy, and that's truly the basis of what why I want this, you know, ha why I'm having this retreat is that so many people work so hard and they end up so stressed out that they they're not happy. Yeah. So this yeah. allows you to dream for your life, for your personal life and your business. I think that's the point here is what you're saying. I mean, you've been in sales for so many years. And if you're an entrepreneur, you are in the business of sales. I mean, everything that we do in our business is enrolling other people. So why not come and spend these five days, four nights, really immersed in working on your business and leaving with new tools 
yeah. in your tool belt. That's what I always say. You know, we leave with new tools in the tool belt. And when you remove yourself like this on a regular basis with that many people, you know, at a space and that's all you're doing is, you know, working on your business and working on yourself and you really feel fulfilled in understanding more about yourself and how often do we pour into ourselves? Rarely. Yeah. I mean, most people have never done that. Yeah. And my experience as going to a retreat just opens you up for so many more possibilities. And what we're going to be doing is actually doing things like breath work. I don't know if you've done breath work before. Oh, but yeah. It, it opens you up to so much more that you didn't realize. It just allows you to go within and look at maybe some things that have been holding you back. Oh, because of this past disappointment or this situation that didn't work out. Um, we do that. We, we're doing yoga. We're doing hiking, meditation, sound bowl. All of these things help you just to slow down. Mm. Our nervous system is just like on all the time. This just allows you to do that. And the very last day, we're going to do a hot air balloon ride because at that point, I want everybody to go, oh my gosh, look at this vision, like enlarge their vision mm. for their life, their personal life and their business. So it's going to be a journey of kind of unfolding our yeah. lives, what's transpired and then open up to the possibility of more or whatever that is for each person. Each person is going to experience it in a different way based on what they're wanting right now. Yeah. Yeah. And so this, this individual, um, are they in the beginning stages of launching a business? Do they already have a business up and running? What have you identified as really the right person to attend this event? Um, most of the people, they're all women and most of them have had their business for a while, or maybe they had one, they want to start one up again, but they're all in this place of, like creating or mm. up leveling where they're like, I've been here, but I know there's more, there's more success. There's more impact. What does that look like? What is my heart and my soul really wanting to, to, to create? That's perfect. That, this is the unfolding. Let's allow it, not push it, make it happen, but allow it to unfold. And mm. how much better does that feel? Yeah, because there's a lot of hustle, right? There's a lot of grind and push and pull uh, and fishing. And so I love what you're saying. It's really about the ease in the part of business. And so for anyone who's feeling nervous about their big hairy goals that they have for 2024, right? This yeah. is a great place for them to be, to really kind of settle in. Uh, so tell us a little bit more. You said it's in Peoria. They mm -hmm. have five days four nights. They're going to be going on a balloon ride at the end, do breath work. There's hiking and so much more in between. Are there specific, um, are there specific instructors coming in? Do you have titles of specific workshops that they're going to be working on that we can share? Yeah. So actually it's in it, an incredible place called Blistopia oh. and it is a Blistopia. So it's, um, a beautiful house is it's, it's for retreats. That's what it's made for. And so um, um, Lana and Mark Royce, they own the place. And so I'm partnering with them to do this whole retreat. So they're uh, exceptional at doing the breath work and the meditations and yoga. So they'll be doing the part that they're um, an expert in, and then I will be leading the workshops. And so um, we will start out with a circle of trust that, and most of these women don't know each other. So how do we create the circle of trust? So we start with that on actually uh, Wednesday evening, which is the third. And uh, so everybody gets to know each other. And then the next day we'll be doing the breath work. So that's where we start unfolding or releasing what could be holding us back. Um, we'll work with our chakras so I'll be educating people on how you work with our energy systems in internally. Um, and that's where some of our emotional baggage is, is um, still there, blocking us from, from moving forward. And we'll continue on to really look at your dreams and goals and what would that look like, right? And then the last day would be 
the unfolding, allowing it to unfold, not pushing it, but what would be the steps and then letting the steps unfold. So the last day is actually, okay, so now once we go home, now yes. what do we do? We've unpacked all this stuff. So now <laughs> what? That's really important, right? Yeah. Um, because if you don't know what to do next, then that can be a challenge. And so we're, we'll really look at that. And then after that, I will have a way for them to stay together and really have a support system after so important. That they choose yeah. to do that. But really, because that those next steps and having that support is so important to continue on because you've created this beautiful vision and you're ready to unfold it. But if you don't have that, when you go back to the real world, that can be challenging. So I oh, definitely yeah. want people to keep moving forward. So uh, we have your virtual coffee with Stacy in case someone wanted to book a call with you to find out a little bit more. Um, and then we have the link here for the True You Retreat. Tina said, sounds amazing. I'll keep an eye out for the next one. She probably has plans, possibly, maybe already, which we expect will happen, right? And um, even at the one-time event that I had, women had other things planned or they got sick or, you yeah. know, we understand life happens. But um, I also want to ask the the listeners and the viewers that are watching this how often are you allowing things to happen to get in your way so that and you're not the one in control anymore you know you're not the one in control so if you were the one in control and did allow yourself to immerse in something like this would it be worth it for you in your business and for yourself? And I know the answer is yes to that because I've invested a lot of money in going to retreats for myself. Um, and I've hosted a lot of them. And I know, Stacy, you've done the same. So um, Tina said, I just found out about it today. So <laughs> many people are just finding out about it for the first time. But that doesn't mean that... Um, you can't connect with Stacy, whether it's through email at trueutraining at gmail.com. You can reach out to her online um, as well as have a virtual coffee with her to find out more about maybe it's not the retreat that that is your first step. So just having that conversation with Stacy, she can really help you realize how to sell and the ease of that and yeah. be able to be in your business more than the typical sales that we would think of. When you were on the panel, you shared some really great information from the stage to the ladies about, you know, being in that energy flow and not necessarily doing this push or pull constantly. And I think that's where you've become this, to me, this amazing, different, uh, ease of sales that, you know, typically we would see that masculine sales, you yes. know, of that push and pull enrollment. And yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I shared this with you before, uh, Colleen, but I created a new program called sales happen when you're having fun. Yeah. And so what that means <laughs> is you don't have to be all, Oh my gosh, I've got to sell the, and because when you're relaxed, that's when it just happens. That's mm -hmm. when the magic happens, right? And mm -hmm. that's what this retreat's all about is you can allow stuff to happen. You can be open. Oh, it doesn't have to come this way. Come a different way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was exciting and fun. And that's how your business can be if you allow it to be and you kind of shift your thought process, which is kind of a societal thing of let's make it happen. Like that's kind of programmed into us and you oh, can yeah. make it happen like that, but it's not as fun as if you are, you lean in and you just so I, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. It right. The flow and ease. Yeah. I agree. And thank you, um, Tina, uh, for participating today. We really appreciate yeah. your participation yeah. and your comments. And we've got all the links here necessary for each one of you to look into this retreat, uh, to contact Stacy, to find out more about how, you know, if you have a business right now and you need more sales and you're like, I really don't have any more time to focus on more sales. I'm, I'm struggling to put myself in the position and put my sales hat on. This is when you want to have a conversation with Stacy because I know she's going to get on the phone and make you uh, really not, I would say she's going to guide you to help you feel at ease so that you know really what your next steps are and what you should be doing. Um, because just being around her, you can feel 
that energy from her. So I'm excited about your retreat. If I wasn't babysitting grandkids and my birthday and all that stuff, I would definitely be there because I think those times are so important for us to discover more about ourselves and step away. So um, again, April 4th through 7th, Awaken Your True You Retreat uh, in Peoria, Arizona. Uh, we will see you there. And again, Stacy, thank you again for being a valued member uh, of the LEAP community and all that you um, bring to the events and everything we do. Like you are just an amazing contributor. Uh, so thank you so much for all of that. Thank you, Colleen. I really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, ladies, have a wonderful rest of your week, everyone. Go crush it and enjoy the last. We're getting down to the last weeks of March and then we're moving into April. I think next Sunday's Easter already, right? Wow. So and happy Easter to all of you. And, um, and then we'll see you again next Monday. Until then, be you and be strong. Bye-bye for now.